Hey guys, today we paint a lower. I've showed you a couple of shorts of lows I've painted. Today we're going to be painting this deep dive blue, blank, uh, basil. So we get into that and I'm going to show you all the steps I got to painting lows and. Alright guys, so we got um, light and magenta. That's what we're starting off first in the gun. And we're just going to go on the top and on the bottom. We're not going to go on the top or under the bottom. Just on the sides, on both sides. Alright guys, so we got all sides painted. Just like that. And not on the top. And not on the bottom. Alright. So we get this gun cleaned out, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, we're on to our next step, and for our next color, it's gonna be some orange, and we're just gonna put it right on the bottom, just on the bottom. That's all we're gonna do, and put this into the time lapse. Okay guys, we got our orange on the belly, and we just did a little bit, bring it up on there, on both sides, and now we're, I'm going to strap this and then move it on to the next step. Alright guys, so we just got our lower taped up, and we, we have some gold in our gun, right here. And we're just gonna spray in all these lines. We taped up the spots that we don't want paint to. So let's get started on that. Alright, guys, so we just finished spraying in between those lines. We did a coat or two, and now we got just Peel the tape off and I'll show you the end product. So, so far, this is all we got, and we're gonna do the exact same thing just on the other side. So, we're gonna tape this up and then spray the gold on it. I'll show you what we get when I am done. Alright guys, this is the finished bait. We just gotta put, well I guess it's not the toy finished, but we gotta put some eyes on it, clear coat it. This one turned out not bad. You know, once we get that clear coat out, it's gonna be looking way better in those eyes, but for now, looks pretty darn good. We gotta peel the tape off the bill and so, Alright guys, we're over here, we're going to put some eyes on a bait. So what we're going to do is take a little drop of super glue and just put it right in that eye slot. It'll come out in a second. Don't want to put too much, just a tad little bit to keep your eye in there. We're going to use this yellow eye to match our gold. Just going to put it right in there. And boom. That's it. Now, same thing with this side. Put just a tad bit of glue. Okay. That was a little heavy, but it'll be fine. 
hit a rye and put it right onto the bait. Boom. Now, what we gotta do left is clear coat it, which we'll do right now. A clear coat machine is just a UV light and a box and we hang them up in there and that's really all. Use this UV resin and paintbrush. And all we're going to do is put some UV resin on the back of it. Get some UV resin all on the back of that bait. Then we take our paintbrush and just brush it all over this bait. And it'll kind of smoothen itself out as you put it on but you just want to make sure you don't have any big clumps while you're putting it on you could even take some more uv resin put some on the belly running out we gotta get another bottle been using this one for about a year or two, so makes sense. We're actually really surprised with how much baits we got done with only one bottle. Still, so we're just getting it all over. That looks just about good. So we're gonna get a toothpick. And then make sure I've done this a lot. Not wound baits, but it's just hard to get the resin out after. Put a toothpick through those eyelets just to make sure none uh no UV resin gets in there. Cause once UV resin gets in there, it's just that stuff is so strong to get out. So Put a toothpick right here, and then into our line box. I'll show you our drying box we got. It's definitely a little bit rickety, but we got some other baits in there, some sneak peeks, baits. Then we just put our UV cap on it and click this button a few times and that's about it. Alright guys, this is the finished product. Looks pretty pretty good. I like it. I hope you guys too do like it. And Hope you guys try it out. It was a really fun pattern to paint. I'll definitely throw it this year. It looks real good. Thanks for tuning in. Always catch you guys on the next one.